big time. And, they, and the leaks out of the administration uh, in, and from various quarters in the administration started coming out early on. I mean, I saw this in early January. People were leaking information. And uh, anytime you start, you see the war of leaks coming out, you know that's not going to be a good dynamic. And every administration leaks. But boy, this started immediately and it seemed very planned and, again, coordinated. Uh, and it will continue to be. This was a comment made this morning on the Today Show by Lindsey Graham about Devin Nunez. The suspicion, as you well know, is that this information right. that supposedly vindicates President Trump came from the Trump administration. Right. Do you think it's fishy that he went over to the White House to get it? Yeah, I think it's a little bizarre. The problem that he's created is he's gone off on a lark by himself, sort of an in Inspector Clouseau investigation here, trying to find some uh, unmasking information about collection incidental uh, with the Trump campaign and some foreign agent outside of Russia. Uh, you can always count on Lindsey Graham, can't you, Governor Huckabee? Well, I'm very disappointed in Lindsey. I sometimes wonder what uniform he puts on each morning when he goes out to the field to play. And I'm not just talking about the partisan uniform, but, but I think to, uh, to bring that kind of criticism and to call the chairman of the House Intel Committee, who is a person of integrity, to call him an Inspector Clouseau, uh, to, to use those kind of terms basically to diminish him, it's very unfortunate. It's demeaning. And frankly, it's uh, it, it, it just it makes no sense because he ought to be calling Devin Nunes and saying, Congressman, what do you have? Tell me what you what you know that you can tell me about, because we need to find out if there's something going on here that is nefarious. And, and frankly, I think we all know, at least most of us do, that, yeah, something is, is you know rotten in Denmark. And I don't understand why there's not a greater outrage over the leaking of information out of the highest levels of U.S. intelligence. This is of grave concern, because if people who are supposed to be guarding our secrets are letting them go, Laura, I hate to use this word, but I don't know what else to use. Mm -hmm. Is that not treason? Is mm -hmm. that not treason? When you work against your own government, you may not agree with your government. You may not like the people who have been elected to be above you. But there are two things that a person in government has to, to be able to provide, loyalty, confidentiality. And if you violate either one of those, you shouldn't be there. You should be fired. We're talking to Governor Mike Huckabee here on The Laura Ingram Show. Governor Huckabee, uh, there uh, is a trade war brewing inside the White House between rival camps. Donald Trump campaigned on bringing uh, a fairer, approach to U.S. trade from the, the way we deal with China. President Xi, of course, is coming this weekend, uh, and he's going to spend time down in Mar-a-Lago with the president. Uh, but uh, the way we deal with China and the WTO to NAFTA and the way uh, Mexico has has pulled one over on us, even the Korean free trade deal has seen mounting trade deficits.